Adam West. Thank you again for all the good work. Have you seen the movie with Harvey Keitel called Holy Smoke? He plays a cult deprogrammer. What do you make of such practices ethically and morally? Also, are you familiar with the reality tunnel concept and with R.A. Wilson? Okay, Adam, well, um, I had not seen Holy Smoke until you asked me this question, and for the sake of my, you know, uh, good Q&A show here, <laughs> I decided to watch this movie. Um, I'd, I'd seen, you know, seen ads for it and stuff. I was a little curious about it. It's a 1999 movie made by Jane uh, Campion with her sister, and um, it takes place in Australia, and it is involves Kate Winslet playing a woman who goes from Australia is she's in a very dysfunctional family and she ends up up in India and she joins a, a guru's group up there um, which you know looks kind of cult-like and then she um, her mother freaks out over this because she you know her one her, her traveling companion comes back to Australia and tells the mother oh my god she's joined a cult and rah 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 she's gonna get married to this guy and the guru right who's gonna marry like all of his followers and all this and Anyway, Harvey Keitel appears on the scene um, at the mother's uh, request, and he is a cult deprogrammer, and he, you know, gets her, um, he arranges with the family to sort of abduct her and get her out in the, out in the middle of nowhere where he can, uh, gets her agreement to spend three days with him so that he can deprogram her, uh, break her, as he and she put it. Um, I found the movie extremely distasteful and offensive, really, because uh, that is not at all what um, a cult intervention uh, looks like or should be like. It, everything that guy did from the moment he came on screen, Harvey Keitel's character, uh, rubbed me the wrong way, if not outright pissed me off, because um, he was talking about how he had to induce a traumatic episode with her in order to snap her out of her cult think and this sort of thing. And that is just absolutely not at all uh, how I think or how one should approach somebody who's in a destructive cult group and get them out of it. You, you, you're not going to break a person. Not that, you're not, you're not going to, you've already got somebody who's been broken. I mean, you've got somebody in a destructive cult who by definition is under undue influence and, you know, or brainwashing or mind control or whatever terminology you want to use, they're not thinking according to, like, their own feelings and their own personality. That's what being a destructive cult is. It's taking on the persona of the cult leader to one degree or another and changing one's views to align with, you know, you're going this way and then suddenly you're going this way because you are being lied to and deceived. That's an inherent part of, of being in a destructive cult, right? Um, so to think that you're gonna take somebody in that condition and then snap them out of it by, by some kind of harsh ice water dip where you're gonna kidnap them and traumatize them into, out of that is ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And you know, in the 1970s and, and, uh, and 80s, is when that sort of, you know, this, this, this sort of kidnapping thing was going on with, with deprogramming. I don't even like that word. Um, but that's where that sort of thing, that, that's when that sort of thing happened. That, you know, people who do cult interventions or, um, or try to assist people out of those situations, they don't even do that crap anymore and haven't for 20 years. So, you know, to put that in a movie in 1999, I came, to, I came to find out in researching this that, that almost, almost every TV show, news show, or movie that is portrayed getting somebody out of a cult situation would only portray a kidnapping situation, despite how unrealistic it is, because they felt that a non-coercive um, intervention wasn't dramatic enough. It, 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 then nobody would want to watch that. You know, because it looks like a conversation. It looks like a rational, normal, uh, real conversation between people. You know, that's how you actually do it. And, and you don't do it by forcing a person to sit at a table and barring the door and, and restricting their freedoms. You'll never succeed at doing a cult intervention by taking away a person's human rights. That's just, that's just a ridiculous idea. So, 
because um, that's the very thing you're trying to get them out of, you know. So anyway, um, so it, so unfortunately, this has been this practice and this how it's done is not being portrayed in the media properly or realistically at all. And they and that's on purpose. Like the editors and the people who put these movies together or the news shows together just are not interested in how it's done properly. They want dra they want drama. They want conflict. They want to see people getting thrown into black vans and being driven off to hotel rooms and doors being locked with security guards and whatnot. And and I'm just telling you that the number of times that was done was was like this many compared to this many times that non-coercive measures were used and are used now to convince people to leave. And and here's the other thing is, is that's only this amount compared to this amount of people who actually leave on their own. So that you know the number of times intervention is needed is actually so small. And then the number of times that you know forceful coercive techniques have been used to do that is even tinier. But that's what gets all the attention. So anyway, uh, enough of my tirade about that. As far as the movie goes, I found it a, you know, I'm a total cinephile. I love movies. And I found this movie to be incredibly uh, obtuse and not well put together. The characters were, every one of them, cardboard cutouts or stereotypes. The Australians particularly were not well served by this movie. They were, to, a, to a, almost to a, every single one of them was portrayed as a complete moron. Um, I thought the only character that came through as realistic was the woman who played Kate Winslet's mother. Uh, her caring and her love for her daughter and whatnot definitely was, was there. Um, and in fact, the scene where she's talking to her daughter in a very loving and trying to understand and, and they're really having an actual conversation, that was as close as it got to what a real intervention would have looked like. And then, you know, along comes Mr. Tough Guy interventionist and the family, and they all just pick her up and take her out. And it was just absolutely ludicrous. Um, and as far as the reality tunnel concept, uh, boy, I could spend a whole show talking about that. Holy cow. R.A. Wilson and, and his philosophy and his writings and uh, viewpoints about things are absolutely fascinating. He's way, got way too much to talk about very easily, so I'll just say I'm very impressed with him um, and his sort of very counterculture, but very, I thought, inspired and, and very intelligent uh, views on things. Um, so, yeah, I, I, like the, I like the guy, and I like a lot of what he had to say, not everything, but a lot. And, um, and the reality tunnel concept is something I very much could uh, get behind as a as an idea of how people see the world and whatnot. I, I, I totally agree with that.